In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing how you can actually stream your PlayStation 5 games onto your Steam Deck without actually needing a PS5 or a PlayStation Portal. You can also remote play from the PlayStation 5. If you're a PlayStation fan, this is definitely a go-to. I'm going to show you guys how to install it, also showcase some games running. So if that's something you guys were interested in, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. So a couple of things that you're going to need before we get started, so let's break that down first thing that you're going to need is the playstation plus premium account in order to stream ps5 games you're also going to need to purchase the ps stream app from the steam store which is about five dollars just a disclaimer when it comes to safety you are going to be putting your psn account into this so if you're concerned about getting hacked or getting your account stolen i know this has been some concern for some people then you might want to be cautious going into this one personally i've been using this for about a week now and i haven't had any issues but i just thought i should put that disclaimer on here. all right so with that being said i'm gonna show you guys how to set this up as you can see here this is the app ps stream you can just go to the steam store and search for it so again here's the steam store we're gonna type it in here ps stream you should be able to see it here so once you see it here just click it it's a five dollar app i believe that's the cost of it so just hit install hit install again and you're good to go let it do it in the background so once it's done installing, you can just hit the launch button and you get right into it. So the cool thing about this is you don't need to go to desktop mode and download the flat pack. Everything you need is right here on the app that you downloaded from Steam. So you're going to need a mobile phone and you're going to need to scan that QR code. So here's my mobile phone. Open up the camera app. Here's me just scanning the QR code. Once you do so, you're going to just get the screen hit start sentence here. And then it asks you to open this up, open it up, hit understood. And then next you just want to open up this next page here. So again, you're going to see me click it, hit open here. Now you're going to need to copy this like you see right here, copy it. And then you're going to need to paste it in the following screen. So again hit continue here and then just hit paste here so just make sure that the paste match i had to delete the beginning because i copied the wrong thing but just make sure that what you copied match just hit paste hit continue and then that's pretty much it you just want to hit yes here and then it's going to return you back to the app and once you're here you just want to hit check status here and then it's going to say you have logged in successfully so this is what the actual app looks like we'll get back into this but next i want to show you guys how to connect this to your mobile device without actually needing the ps5 to get these games on your deck so as you can see here this is my mobile app open the psn id and sign in and i can see all of my games here so if i want to purchase a game before i want to download the game that i already own i'm just hitting 2k and i'm just going to add it to my library so now this is how you get the ps5 streaming game if you have ps5 games you can just use your mobile app to access it so as you can see here again this is cloud catalog and i'm just going to go to my ps5 game library here so something you notice here when i go to my ps5 game library these are all of the games my ps5 games that i added to the library like i showed you guys if i hit review fresh this is the recent 2k26 game that you guys just saw me added so that's how you add your ps5 games to this app it's pretty simple but if you go to cloud catalog here these are all of your playstation subscription games here you can stream pretty much any of these games and if you're looking for a specific game you can search for it so i'm searching for bloodborne i type in blood and you'll see bloodborne come here and again i just want to showcase how easy this is to stream these games so i'm just going to open up bloodborne here and this is real time i'm not going to fast forward anything this is how quick this just launches into the game so again i just hit bloodborne and you guys are seeing it in real time just launch right into the game. So this is pretty fast, it's pretty snappy. Again, just wanna showcase this one off. So back to the PlayStation 5 game streaming. As you can see here, we we'll go back to the library. I'm gonna showcase Ghost of Tsushima. So I do have to say not 
every game is streamable. There's a website which I'll post in the description if you guys want to see if your game is compatible. I know Death Stranding 2, I purchased the game, but it's not compatible. But most games are from the PS5 era. So as you can see here, this is Ghost of Yodi. I said uh, Tsushima earlier, but Ghost of Yodi. They just released, and the neat thing about this is that the trackpad for the Steam Deck works as the trackpad for the PS5 controller. So I know there was an issue when it came to remote play, but with this app, you don't have to worry about this. And there's hardly any latency with this. You move the joystick and you see it move in the game again. It's pretty impressive how, honestly speaking, there's hardly any latency with this one, but just want to showcase this off. So the other cool thing about this is if you go to the settings tab, here there's a lot of customization with this app so in general here again you can see that you can mess with the haptic feedback and also with the gyro control if you go to videos well you can mess around with the resolution and the quality as well same thing again if you go to streaming there's going to be a lot of option if you go to audio there's going to be a lot of options so again i'm just really impressed by just the customization overall with this app so again here in audio just different things to mess with but for the keys, it's quite interesting because you can actually map keys, which is neat. And you can change the different mapping when it comes to controllers here. Just want to highlight this one off so much with this app. I'm telling you guys, it's really impressive. Only for five bucks. It's amazing what you get with this. But the other thing that this offers, I just want to let you guys know, is that there's something called remote play. So if you have your... PlayStation 5, you can connect it to this app and actually stream games via your PS5 onto this app. And that's how Spider-Man, you've seen this video, is playing right now. Now, my overall impression, I'm really impressed by this app. I can't believe for $5, this almost reminds me of Lost Lost Scale and how cheap that app is and how much it does and what you can do with it. This is the same. $5, you get not only PS5 game streaming, but you also get remote play. It's quite incredible also with all of the nice features customization that you get with this again the fact that the ps5 trackpad works with the steam deck trackpad also is a win and something that i catch myself doing with this a lot is just docking it to my tv and it now becomes a ps5 console via streaming but yeah fellas just want to showcase this one off let us know what are your thoughts about this appreciate you we'll catch you in the next one until next time peace out